today we're talking about light stands. And in particular, what to do with a light stand when you have uneven terrain, like a step and you're in a sticky situation. Fortunately, Savage has a solution with the Multiflex light stand. Let's have a look. Hey, this is Scott Weinkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the Savage Multiflex light stand. Its purpose is not just to support your light stand. Its purpose is to support your light stand on uneven terrain in corners, on steps, or on hills, or things like that. So we're going to open this up, have a quick look, and then I'm going to show you how this could be used in a bunch of different situations. I'm actually surprised it came with a bag. I don't really use light individual light stand bags because I have a big case to hold on my light stands. But I guess if you only need the one light stand, it's kind of nice to have a case. So here it is. This is a solid, I think it's aluminum. I'll have to double check that, but solid, solid light stand. I believe that the locks and whatnot are plastic. It could be an alloy. Hard to tell off, off bat. It has a little clip to hold this like key that'll be used to tighten everything. So it's nice that that's integrated. So right off the bat, you can tell with the Multiflex, it has the ability to mount your light stand vertically or on the side or on the other side. And the head part of this is also the kind that you can actually use the bigger screw or the smaller screw depending on your situation. I'm pretty sure this is an alloy, not plastic. Each of the knobs and the locks. You got these rubberized feet down here at the bottom. There is a Velcro strap to keep it um, up and enclosed. And the Velcro strap's actually screwed in. So when you undo it, it's not going anywhere. It stays, it stays put. It feels really solid. Now, there's two versions of this. This is the 10 footer. When Savage asked me which, which I would prefer, I basically, I said, what's the difference? And they said, it's just the height difference. So I believe it's a six foot or a 10 foot. I'll have to double check that. The smaller version is just a little smaller and more and easier to transport. The bigger version can obviously go higher, better for more studio environments and things like that. And then when you just need more height, but it's not as portable because it's taller even when collapsed. Okay, so right now I am literally kneeling on the floor, just trying to figure out how this leg system works. Um, there's a beautiful rail. The middle part here is a, is a beautiful rail that these can actually slide up and down on. There we go. So the cool part about this is that I can put it in a corner and take up very little space in the corner and still have the light stand. Kind of like how a C-stand can go closer to a corner versus a standard light stand. Because the legs are con configurable, they too can actually get closer to a corner. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But here we go. So there is a bubble level right on top of one of these knobs. We can loosen this up and raise up the light stand. Again, this feels solid, which is very nice. Here is the key that can be used to uh, tighten different things. Again, this goes to 10 feet. So you're not gonna see it on the video, but go pretty high. First and foremost, it is a light stand, but it's a light stand that can really go anywhere. So let's uh, let's have a closer look at, uh, at what we can do with that. Now you might look at this and say, why does it look funny? This one leg is independent from these two legs. And on top of that, there's sort of this tripod effect so you can get <laughs> extra length depending on the uneven terrain or if you need that added height for when they're all the same level. But that's part of the cool part about the Multiflex. Here we go. If you start hearing some static, I apologize. I'm right next to the furnace room right now, so that's why you are you might hear that. Let's first start with a standard light stand. With a standard light stand, your options for a corner is basically that. Because if you do it like this, you're further out. So you've got to stick one of the legs deep in that corner. But that means your light stand is still pretty far out. The way to solve this is using the multi-flex. With the multi-flex, you can actually bump up that leg to something like this, have it real deep in there, and then lower the leg down here. And now you've got a light stand really deep in that corner, and it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. This clasp right here is to tighten this so that, that, that this cannot move. So basically you have a way to tighten here to lock this, a way to raise and lower this, 
and then a way to raise and lower the feet. And by the way, all three feet could be extended. Okay, so now we're even closer to the furnace room. I apologize again for the noise. Regular light stand on steps. Basically, it's not possible. Here's what happens. You put it on the step, and you're gonna have a leaning light stand. It's not possible to use. But then you got the multi-flex, which by default looks like it can't be used, but you can use it. All right, so the way to do this one would be actually doing it the opposite direction. You put the two legs on the, on the step itself, and then you have the other leg, you basically, let's lock that down. You have the other leg, you bump that up, lock that in place, bring the leg down, and now you got a light stand. See, is it level? It's almost level. You got a light stand on the steps. And by the way, we can go up steps too. That's two steps. Yeah, if you didn't catch that, I have a light stand on, on two steps. A light stand on two. This next one could be really useful for a lot of people, family photographers that go in people's homes, or real, real estate photographers, or anybody who deals with furniture being in the way all the time. This light stand is the only light stand that can go underneath furniture. Have a look. See how easy that was? I now have a light stand that goes under furniture. Now it's not level yet. I would just have to extend these legs a little bit more to level it out. Okay. A light is not going anywhere. I've got a light stand with a leg under furniture getting me my light further away from the room. So now my light could be as far away from my client as I need it to be, or out of the picture, so to speak, if you need it to. This thing's amazing. Let's say you want it to be on top of the furniture for whatever reason. You could do that. Yeah, those are my kids' blankies. And that's a diaper. Or if the dollhouse is in the way, use it. I don't recommend actually using a dollhouse to support a light stand because it's probably gonna break once you put a heavy light on it, but I was just being silly. Of course, it does have its limitations. I mean, it can't go on a kitchen table. I can't figure out how to configure it to be nicely on a kitchen table. But that's okay, right? It's very flexible otherwise. You might even say it's multi-flexible. So we've seen the multi-flex go in a variety of situations. It is quite versatile for a light stand. And uh, I think beyond just the leg configurations that are possible, it's worth also emphasizing that it's also flexible at the top where the light stand actually gets mounted because you can do it vertically, you can do it horizontally from either side, and the nib that it comes with can also be either the thick screw or the little screw, like for a camera. It, of course, it's also for a light type clamp too, so you don't have to use the screws. You can just put a light right directly on it. The base of this thing. Which you can see right there is a pretty heavy duty metal plate. You can feel the weight on this, on this light stand. And that plate is holding all of that weight in the center. Which means that when you need extra support, you just drop it down so that that plate is on the ground and let the ground absorb all the weight that is on top of this light stand. So this thing weighs, this thing weighs 6.4 pounds. It is not a lightweight light stand. Of course, the smaller version of this will actually be lighter, but the 10 foot is over six pounds. If you need a light stand that is versatile, if you have tight spaces like I do, I'm in a studio that has very limited room, then having light stands that can fit into corners and get underneath things or over things is very important. That's why I've been using C stands so I can get closer to the walls when needed or get closer to the corners really when needed. And now the multi-flex stand from Savage is gonna let me do that even better. I'm very excited about this. Time to put it to use. This is now an integral part of my photography in studio and on location. It's gonna make a good addition to my light stand collection for all my photography work. By the way, Savage did not sponsor this video, but they did send me that light stand to review. But to prove to you that uh, I'm not being paid for this, I'm gonna say some bad things about this.
My biggest complaint with light stands, which some of my light stands do this and some of them don't, and this one does it, so it's kind of a pet peeve, is this part. When I want to raise this up, this is loose, fully loose. I feel like the amount of force I need to do in order to make this go up or down, I'll wind up snapping my fingers in this. And I've done that with other light stands, and I'm concerned because of how heavy duty this is, this one would really hurt when that happens. One final note, it's worth pointing out that while the individual leg goes up and then locks in place for when you're putting it away, the double legs, you go down all the way and then you flip the legs up for storage. Kind of like how a lot of tripods are doing it these days. And then you can lock it into place in all the different places. And then use that handy Velcro strap to ensure these legs are fixed in position.